I trust in God wherever I may be out on the land on the storm may see let come what may from day to day my heavenly father watches over he watches over me i trust in god and i know he cares for me Out on a stormy sea, though billows roll, oh Lord, eh? Lord, He keeps my soul. My heavenly Father, He watches over. He watches over me. I said, I trust in God, and I know he cares for me. On, on mountain bleak, or out on the stormy, on a stormy sea, the billows roll. I'm so glad to say, the Lord keeps my soul. My heavenly Father, He watches over. He watches over. Watches over me. Yeah. It's an interesting day that we live in. You can be standing in a concert hall and be shot to death. Or you could be enjoying your service in church. And some maniac come in and empty his gun into the parishioners. Or you could be walking or riding your bike down the road. And some person get in a vehicle and ride up on the bike path and kill as many people as their vehicle can hit. We really don't have enough police officers or military men and women. We don't have enough FBI agents. Hallelujah. There's not enough undercover secret service to watch out for us. But I want you to know that I trust in God. And wherever I am, because it could be a disease, it could be a sickness, something that you were not prepared for. Just on last year, now some of you thought maybe because I lost weight of sickness. No, I lost weight because I heard what the preacher said about weight. But last year, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. I didn't know it, and I didn't tell anybody. I just go like I do and normally get my checkup because I think it's important to go and let the doctor look you over when you get a certain age. And the doctor said, Mr. Hines, your PSA is considerably high. We want to do a biopsy. And they did the biopsy and found that cancer was in my prostate. I didn't tell the congregation. I didn't tell my children. I didn't want to tell the saints because you all can write our obituaries real quick. I wasn't going to let y'all know. But I talked to my wife, I said, honey, they want to do a scan of my body and see how they want to treat me. So I'm going to go back in. And we went in and they did the scan and they said, come back in five days and we'll tell you how we're going to treat the cancer. When we left from the scan, my wife said, honey, we're going to trust God. And I don't believe that there's going to be any cancer to treat. And so I began to stand on God's word. I began to declare that by his stripes I am healed. Healing is the children's bread. No good thing will I withhold from them that walketh upright. 
And I began to declare the word of God and praise him every opportunity. I went back on that fifth day. And not only did the doctor that was seeing me named Dr. C come into the room, but two other doctors came in. And Dr. C set me down and he said, Mr. Hines, we don't know what happened, but we can't find any cancer to treat. So I trust in God. I know he cares for me. Oh, mountain peaks, or out on a storm at sea. Though billows roll, can I get a witness in here? The Lord, he keeps my soul. My heavenly father watches over, watches over, over, he watches over me. I want you to know I went back to get my checkup, my PSA had went down. I went back for the next three month checkup and it went down. They said, Mr. Hines, you don't have to come back for a year, your PSA has gone back down to normal. God is a miracle working God. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You may not can control what goes on around you. You sure can control your relationship with the Father. Straight get it one to here. Straight from From the gutter. From the gutter. Strength on the inside. Healing on the inside. Most be, I speak to you inside of this body. I talk to you. Lose him and let him go. Oh, <laughs> 